Hello everyone! I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokémon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. I'm ready! First, we'd like to share some news about Pokémon's first strategic team battle game, Pokémon Unite. Uh, yeah, Blissey comes out. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has already been released, and the release of the mobile version has now been set for September 22nd. Okay, 22nd! All right. In anticipation All right. of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the oh. App Store and Google Play Store. Registering Nintendo now. Switch <laughs> and mobile device users can play together in Pokemon Unite. We hope as cool. many people as possible cool. will be able to enjoy playing it together. Players will also receive special oh. gifts in their game based on the number of what? people pre-registered for the mobile huh. version, thanks to a special campaign happening now. We hope you'll wow. all pre-register and look forward to mm. the mobile release. Okay. That that's something I don't have to do anything about. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as He's a really launch good. bonus. The Unite license can also be used in there the mobile version by linking accounts. Pre-register. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. I, I registered. Mammal Swine, what? Where's Blastoise? Rest in peace, Blastoise. Blastoise, where are you? Whoa. Sylveon, that wasn't a date of mine. Wow. Mammal Swine's graphics need some work. Look forward to more what? from Pokemon Unite in the future. I don't know about now, that. I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Yeah, cafe. I saw in the tags of this video, they mentioned Pokemon Go and Pokemon, Pokemon Masters Phoenix EX. Is getting a revamp, and with it, a new title. I don't Pokemon play this. Cafe Remix. The puzzles have been refreshed with oh, let me full screen this. Elements with which you can mix, there we go. Link and blast puzzle icons. I I don't I don't know what's going on. I don't play this. It does not interest me. Tons of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix and new dress up options. You'll also find huh. more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokemon, so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed I like the artwork, for years though. to come. Pokemon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. Oh! Two year anniversary, yeah, I've been playing this. N! What? With Reshiram this time? Because he's he's already in the game with Zekrom. Celebrates its two year anniversary. He's just fancy. Dynamaxing is here. Cygnusu Leon has arrived. Yeah, I have Leon. With Eternatus. Team up I have with Eternatus. Leon and hop to face Eternatus in the legendary event. Zamazenta's free. For anyone who completes the event. I already got him. To celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players will get the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. Plus, three different what? legendary events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. I already got those. N will be returning in a special outfit as part of a Masters sync pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target all opponents with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N huh. as well as other two-year anniversary sync pairs soon. Oh, he's not the only one? There's more. Okay. Then, starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. Villainous organizations are stirring once more. All the villains! A darker turn. All the villains! You want to miss it. From past Pokemon we games! They're gathering! Exciting content planned as well. Oh my so gosh! Celebration of this special anniversary. Just like Ultra Sun Ultra Moon! Also, if you log into the game after this Except Rose is in there. You can receive a present <laughs> of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. Cool. You won't want to miss it. Pokemon Go, which is celebrating its fifth anniversary, will have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. The Ultra Rest in peace, Alola. <laughs> event will begin on August they skipped Alola. What? what? At 10 a.m. local time. 
Players can look forward okay. to seeing Wulu, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The Berry the Gang is here. Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in Five Star Raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Yeah, when is Hoopa going to come to the game? I already the did the Pokemon Go Fest. In Pokemon Go. All right. Next Diamond Pearl Remix. about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. They know to save save those games for last. Not actual full footage. Rip. What the heck? Okay. Hello there. It's very nice to meet you. It's Rowan. Kidding. <laughs> oh. Welcome to roller Yeah, I guess it's the professor, yeah. Oh gosh, he looks so weird as Chibi. What's with the close camera angle? Why is it so close to his mustache? <laughs> what the heck? Get trapped in the marsh. Pokemon follow you! What? What? I don't know, man. These graphics. Uh, I don't know. Put stickers. Yeah, that was in uh, Pokemon Platinum. Effects come out of the Pokeball. Union Room. It's back, wow. Whoa, you can customize your character. Oh, Chibi. Oh, you can customize your character in... Oh, okay. Yep, underground. Oh, there's a whole map! Wow. Hey, the minigame's there! I remember that. Those gems look exactly the same, too. Yeah, you can have your own room. Your, your private room. Whoa! What? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, you can find wild Pokemon underground! Finding biomes like Minecraft! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Team Galactic. This music, though. What is this music? Hey, Cyrus. He's still wearing the same clothes. Hey, Cynthia. Time and space, oh my gosh. They're gonna hint at Giratina. I swear, I, I look like Palkin Dialga and statue fused together. It's kinda it's kinda weird. It's their primal form! <laughs> like Radon and Kyogre. <laughs> You know, I kind of expected a more epic-looking box art. The details are nice, though. The 19th. The release of Pokémon Brilliant Diamond and Pokémon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points... I just noticed there's an Arceus figure. Uh, upper left corner. After 15 years, Pokémon Diamond and Pokémon Pearl have been reborn. 
into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter oh, there's Dialga. The region's myths. That looks like Dialga and Palkia fused. What the heck? Ravel the truth behind their mysteries. I wasn't going crazy. It really looked like Dialga and Palkia fused together. That statue. This is Professor what? Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. It's you weird seeing the protagonist with no hat. Trainer through your friendly rivalry. There's Barry. Mmm, Barry. Rourke is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses Rock-type Pokemon. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points along your journey. I really expect more detail on these 3D models. Gameplay features from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and powered up. Especially after games. seeing Pokemon Snap, my expectations in the Grand Underground, you can are Pokemon Snap graphics. In a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and the epic Snorlax statue. Pokemon statues. There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which the biomes. In Pokemon Diamond Minecraft and Pokemon biomes. Pearl. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. Really? Some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be really? sure to fully explore the grand underground spread out beneath the surface of Sinnoh. Wow, they can only be found underground? You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs such as confetti or fireworks. Yeah, that was a Pokemon Platinum. collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. One new feature that was not available in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Wear your favorite styles on your adventure. That's cool, you can customize. In super contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music. Oh my gosh, rhythm game. Contest <laughs> and aim for a successful show. Cooperate with your partner. I Pokemon wonder if I transfer Pokemon crap. from uh, Diamond and Pearl DS room, to here. You to use not we'll still keep those stats. But also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with many Actually, there was never trainers. a Pokemon contest in Diamond and Pearl. It was only a uh, you can walk Ruby and Sapphire. Any of the Pokemon that appear in these That's games. cool. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with your partner Pokemon. Encounters with all kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure. That's with so new funny, biomes. <laughs> in the region. It's the Minecraft uh, uh, Caves and Cliffs update. <laughs> biomes underground. <laughs> but dude, that statue, I swear, it's Please Dalgan and Palkia fused. For the start of your adventure. Something sus. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also oh. be released to celebrate the launch of these games. That's cool. This special Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up with art of the legendary Pokemon Dialga and Palkia, bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx. I'm not Dialga getting and that. Palkia edition that was released back in 2006 to I don't want a light. The original game's launch. It will be available to purchase beginning November 5th, 2021. Look forward to it. Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Here we go, the big game. By game Freak. I'm ready. This now this is the the big game everyone 
really wants to know about. Okay. The trees look better than Sword and Shield. <laughs> the trees look better. <laughs> Kinda. Hey, Gardevoir's there. Cool. Gardevoir is in the game confirmed. Gosh, that rock doesn't look very good, graphic-wise. Wait a minute. He has a beard. That's so that that deerling. I mean, not deerling. Um. Uh, the Johto deer. I. Gosh, how, how did I forget his name? He has a beard. It's a variant. It's it's a you know not a Galarian or a Lowland form. It's a form of this place, Sinnoh form, but old Sinnoh form. Mud. Who's that? That's Growlithe? It's a Sinnoh form. Old Sinnoh form of Growlithe. Wow. Huh? Well, that's what it looks like. Ha. <laughs> that's the must be the professor. That's uh, is that the professor of this? I mean, I know this is back then. Oh, what? You can dive? Oh. No way. Can you glide? It's it's a Sinnoh form. An old Sinnoh form of Braviary! What? Oh! That poke, that's an old Sinnoh form of, um, uh, Basculin! It's huge! And there's... I forgot his name, man. It's an old Sinnoh form. He has a beard. I love it. <laughs> Gosh, what's his name? I gotta, I gotta... I mean, I gotta look into that. How did I... Whoa. Oh. Everyone's gone evil. What? You can dodge? They're attacking you? You can get hurt! Oh my gosh! You can- you're- you- you're human! Self can get hurt! Oh my gosh! That's awesome! Strong style? Agile style? Dude, what is this new fighting mechanic? You still have six Pokemon with you, I see on the corner. That's a great ball! Judging by the colors. That's awesome. You can get hurt. Garcha. Rubble Pass. Nah, I'm just mine. That glass boy, though. Gosh, I... Okay, I lost Pokemon, though. I'm just glad Gardevoir's in this. Not actual gameplay footage. Oh! Man, I want there to be a new anime of this. That'd be cool. Dang. That's so awesome. You can get hurt? The, your human trainer can get hurt. That was the latest <laughs> trailer for Pokemon Legend Arceus. <gasps> what? <laughs> Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. Stantler. Stantler. I just looked it up. That's... Oh God, how did I forget that? Pokemon Dude, the Sinnohform Stantler. It's a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action They can tackle you. That's funny. Elements. You can dodge roll. That's hilarious. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. During a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems, 
In the future, this that Team Galactic logo? Come to be known as oh, no, no. The that looks like Galactic, the logo! On an adventure with the goal what? Of the first ever Pokedex for the Even they existed region. back then. <laughs> the bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from Galarian the Weezing. Well, that's Galarian. We well, Galarian Weezing. Core, uh, the well, the forms, not actual the Pokemon. The core, which researches Pokemon. Galaxy Professor Team. Lavington's field of study wow. is the ecology of Pokemon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Wow, so Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. That's Cyrus. She seems to treat you harshly. Deep down, a female Cyrus. Her, and she watches over That's the ancestor of Cyrus. <laughs> Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the So this this get so Team Galactic members. back then were when the good the guys. He recognizes your knack for Pokémon research. He allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. Or they're secretly evil. That'd be too obvious if they were secretly evil. The duty of the survey I just I hope they are good people. To shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure. And in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work wow. by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. In the Hisui Black, region, okay. you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. That's cool. That's Take cool. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use wow. caution when you're out doing your survey work. Wow. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Wow. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. This is amazing. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh my gosh. All over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Dang. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row. Action order. on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. What? You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles. What? Strong style and agile style. Using you can change it. Strong style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Wow. Using a move in the agile style will decrease the move's power. It's single strike and rapid that rapid strike Urshifu in the T Pokemon TCG. Come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Wow. Use different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. That's so cool. It's amazing. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and Ugh, the graphics though. Pokemon what happened? To complete that Pokedex. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui Basculin. region. <laughs> this Pokemon with distinctive antlers is what? known as Weirdeer. Wait, Weirdeer what? Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the it's an evolution environment of the Hisui region. It an has evolution. It has ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Whoa. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. Whoa. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. 
Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if Evolution. they're possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. Wow. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and Wait, on what? without tiring. There Wait, are what? also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great majestic wings Hisuian is the Hisuian form of Bravier. Hisuian form, okay, that's what they call it. in the winter and can imbue its form. with psychic power to generate shockwaves. It's a psychic type? Like psychic and flying? This Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It Ew, is a graphics. very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisui and Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and I can't wait to see Arcanine. Chilly land. Hisui and Arcanine. Its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily. So Hisui and Growlithe wow. uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. You know, Hisui and Arcanine. Arceus holds the key to this story. <laughs> what connection does it have to your It's definitely with this culture. We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the Ew, people and the graphics are ugly the though. Region for yourself. What happened? I hope they improve it. It's just Pokemon Snap graphics. You can't go back from that. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon <laughs> Legends Arceus. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. It's so weird Legends Arceus comes like so like a couple months. For these titles. A few it's months to after Pokemon Rise. <gasps> the cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible Yay. mobile devices in 2022. I would hope so. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. I already have almost almost all the Pokemon in my Pokemon home. Like, that so many of you continue to enjoy. just trade over to complete the Pokedex. This will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun. Ranked battles will not take place in Diamond and Pearl or Legend Arceus. Oh, okay. Gotcha. No ranked battles. Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. So the the competitive TC um, VG. Uh, VGC is still staying with Sword and Shield. Huh. Okay. Okay. Well, dang. Um, jeez. That's so awesome. Legend Arceus. Uh, you have to dodge roll. You have to not get hurt. There are different fighting styles for your moves. Dude, that reminds me of First Strike and Rapid Strike. In Pokemon TCG, for anyone who plays it, because um, it has to do with Urshifu. Um, it's the whole gimmick of, of the TCG and battle styles uh, card set. And wow, that's so funny. There, there, there's a turn order, just like in Final Fantasy games. Like, what? What is, what is this Pokemon game? It's evolving. I love it. I'm so happy. They're not following the same formula. They've they've been following mainline games. They've been following for all these years. Wow, that's this this game is it's it is getting me so hyped. I I'm so hyped for Legends Arceus. I don't Diamond and Pearl remakes. I'm like I, I definitely am getting it. I I want to re I want to play it because I have you know such nostalgia for it. I'm 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 hyped about that too. You know it's cool. Uh, same formula, but do Legends Arceus is gonna set the bar. I hope for future games. Granted, it takes place like <laughs> in long time ago. I hope it's not a one-off. But uh, dang, I I love it. And what was that when they first showed Hisuian Braviary? Dawn um did a roll right off, right off the cliff, and uh, what? Is that like Breath of the Wild, where you could just press a button? Here we go, here we go. Here we go, let me mute this. Look at this, you, ju you just roll off? And then, boom. Is this gonna be like Breath of the Wild, where you just jump off a cliff and then press A to have a hang glider? Like, like Link does. Is it just, you press a button while uh, you, Is it? I hope so. Dude, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. This game, man. 
This game. <laughs> I'm hyped. Oh, I'm hyped for that. But it's August. Oh, it's such a long ways away. But dang, I'm hyped. My only complaint. My only complaint are the graphics, man. The graphics need work. Pokemon Snap graphics set the bar for Pokemon games. I know that that's made by, what, Bandai Namco? Which I, I guess they do a better job at graphics than Game Freak. This is made by Game Freak. The other game, the Diamond and Pearl, is not made by Game Freak. Game Freak is making this one. Dude, Game Freak, you guys, I don't know, you need to hire new talent or get your existing team to go back to school or something. Like, dude, you... Come on, you make so much, Pokemon franchise makes so much money. Come on, invest in education for your team to, I don't know, learn to, do, to texture better something. Because <sighs> Bandai Namco could be showing you up, you know, with that Pokemon Snap. Granted, Pokemon Snap is just secluded areas. It's an on-rails experience, so they don't, they don't, Pokemon Snap, I know, I understand it's not a whole vast world, um, overworld to explore. Um. But dang, still, like, at least make in-town the building models, I don't know, at least those, make them better. Like, put some more detail in, in commonly visited areas, like the, like the towns, that's a lot. And the human models that you'll see frequently, at least improve though, them. But yeah, that's my only complaint is the graphics. But dude, everything else I'm hyped for. I don't know who's my first Pokemon, though. I usually pick water. Mm, I like Oshawa, it's pretty, but I like Rowlet though. Cyndaquil, it's like, eh, but I am nostalgic for Johto. Johto's my favorite region. <sighs> Urgh, man, I can't decide. I think I have, well, I, I have a lot of time to think about it. Mm. It's funny seeing also Cyrus's ancestor, a, a female Cyrus, that's, that's funny. Team Galactic though, was I guess the good guys back then. That's funny, or at least, well, we'll see if they, they are the, if they're, if, if they're still good guys, or maybe they're evil this whole time, trying to infiltrate Mount Coronet and get capture Arceus, I don't know. We'll see.